actually decided to go with these shoes. They're so much cuter. And let me hurry up because I'm running late. I had to slap this bonnet on because I'm like hot and I feel like outside I got that little dig on my knees, Donna. And then my mom is somewhere back there, boy. We ready? We, we ready? We getting in the Uber? So there was no rain in the forecast. At least no rain that Donna or I saw. Right? No. And it's raining. Nobody has an umbrella. Hopefully we can get as close to the <laughs> to the place as possible. Because of course, you know my leave out. It, that mess my milk. Y'all see my family? Hello. They are going to actually have some of my food. On your quarter table. <laughs> <laughs> you got a lot of, um, I was glancing at the comments that came in because of the vlog from two weeks ago, uh, posted today, when we went to the dinner at um, the place and resorts. Mm. And uh, you got a bunch of people who said, um, Oh my God, I love your mom. She's so cute and funny. <laughs> until they, until she's in your house. She ain't gonna be that cute and funny. <laughs> Watch that, gonna start vlogging. She gonna open right. her own channel. So about, hello to my fans. She gonna come in your comments. Come over to my channel. Right. <laughs> she's gonna start an OF. <laughs> you know it's OF, mom? No. <laughs> No, oh my God! What did she say? A curse word? I thought I heard that. <laughs> She's terrible. No, what can I get you guys to drink? I can't chew because the, the, that hot stuff I ate by um. Oh, oh my God! Hey. Mm -mm. Hurt. What? I'm, I'm sorry, I can't eat the chicken. It's hurting my gum up here, and that's why I was chewing today. What? You saying my chicken is hard? <laughs> <laughs> What is this? <laughs> I put up a video talking about how juicy my chicken is. Somebody left me some great idea. You left me some great feedback saying you made your chicken like that and it came out juicy. And my mother is talking about. <laughs> Get out! You know when you eat stuff out of it, the gum that's sore. But that's you ate hard food earlier. Mm -hmm. Is that that my chicken is hard? <laughs> A couple of days for that to go after you Listerine and all like that. Today. How's it, Donna? <laughs> um. <laughs> Should let me go home and spray. How's the potato? The potato is nice and crispy. You know what? Next time I'm gonna pay people to come here and eat. Salad to medicine. It's the way she did it, though. She did it and she. <laughs> Not the salad tastes like medicine. <laughs> what do you have to drink? Oh, you know I forgot I offered y'all something to drink and then here yeah, I'm sitting down. Let's see what I got. I got water. This strawberry mojito. Oh, I meant to take um when y'all leaving, don't forget to take this almond milk. I meant to give it to your mother last time. Oh, yeah, she did say she um yeah, she made um it what's that porridge. Oh, it was good, man. I got pineapple juice, strawberry kiwi juice. Oh, um, kiwi is good for me. Strawberry guava mojito Ooh, juice. Good, yes. okay. You want that? What you want, mom? In the pineapple passion. Nobody's saying about no pineapple passion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what I want. <laughs> I'm gonna have, have to go outside for that. <laughs> you want some of this? Yeah. <laughs> You want ice or just a... It's watch me I told her, it was hard. I can chew it. With her mouth open. Oh my God, but you don't like arugula. I find a... You like it? I'm eating it. Well, the arugula is not... <laughs> <laughs> the arugula, you gotta take that up with God. <laughs> you got Don over there dying. <laughs> Maybe I'm below. She's terrible. Don't don't let don't um encourage her. Here for darling. Thank you. 
Do you want anything different to drink? I don't mind going downstairs because that. Just realized I ain't got no juice. How come before you said it was hard, but now you're saying it's good? No, the mango stuff you had on it is good. When I say good, it's good for you to put in your wrap. So I turned this camera on for no reason. Yeah, I mean, you know, you're trying to contradict me, but you're not succeeding. Fail. <laughs> <laughs> is right by your foot, by the chair. Please release me from the what of from the shackles of, now I need something sweet. Give me free, what's that? <laughs> and she's crying, she's wiping tears off. <laughs> oh my God, yeah, cry baby. <laughs> you unfollow Jasmine. <laughs> Yo. You unfollow her. You see, we only know what she did. I don't know. My mom accidentally plucked my niece. <laughs> I can't get you back. <laughs> and she, <laughs> wait, Jasmine, how you feel here? Wait, no, why? Your you old grandma's a black you. Why you in? <laughs> wait, you mean? <laughs> because mom said, mom said, mom said she disappeared. I can't find her anymore. <laughs> Reported you as spam? <laughs> <laughs> you need to stop. Oh, oh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> and the thing is, because your HR profile private, so I was like, we've got to explain this to Jasmine before she see that following. Oh, that following. <laughs> She's like, what? Ah! They follow back. <laughs> Wait, look, y'all. <laughs> Yo, Nana's doing follow for follow, Jasmine. Yo, she unfollowed you. <laughs> Nana said, Nope. Damn. <laughs> Damn. I'm gonna I'm I'm hit follow back, Jasmine. Uh, Jasmine. She, she shouldn't have done you like that. <laughs> But, but also she might have reported you as me. So she gonna get your content taken down. Oh my God. I had to get this on. Yeah. You got banned from Uber? It's <laughs> the sweet kind. Oh Looks can be deceiving. Because this is a woman who... Yo, y'all. I said to my niece, I was like, you ain't notice how all of these Uber trips, <laughs> Nana has never once been like, oh, I'll get the Uber. <laughs> she can't get no Uber. <laughs> how you get banned from them two incidents? I don't know why this isn't. Because she's not telling you the truth. It's more stuff, ain't it? She's not telling you the full truth. No, because, I mean, they get, they get free. They, get, they have access to my, my money, so they take it out, and I complain. I used to complain a lot. That's <laughs> not work. You... Yeah, you know, sometimes they get to head of you complaining and they kick you off. That is not what happened. What happened, y'all, is my mom. And you know how I know this? Because several times I've taken my mom out and I'm like, Mom, you need to put your mask on. <laughs> She's like, I have my mask on. I'm like, No, you don't. <laughs> So she got in an Uber so many times without a mask that she got banned. <laughs> I think they never said nothing to you while you was in the Uber. And it's like, no, oh, it's yeah. after what they snitched. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't feel safe to I tell was you. Outside, I was outside of the car, right? I opened up, I was outside of the car, and I bent down to ask him. I said, "Call it gray, right?" And he said, "What?" And I pulled it on my face, "Call it gray," and he said, "Call powder." I said, "What?" Yeah. <laughs> and I said yes, and I pulled it back up, but it didn't cover my whole nose, it just covered my mouth. That's not the man who got you kicked off food, but you, you, no, did, that at, you did that at least three or four other times. Nothing to me. He said nothing to me, but the next time I called for the cab, it said that I was bad before I was away. <laughs> but you were able to fight it? I didn't bother. <laughs> That's why I went back to Nulu. <laughs>
welcome to the new vlog, even though you already got a day's worth of content in. All right, so I have decided, and by I have decided, I mean that at any given time, I can wind up changing my mind and doing something totally different as I do. But I want to theme some of the vlogs. And this vlog's theme is going to be habits. Now, I want to get into certain habits because I think that in getting into certain habits, making certain things a habit, it's not, it doesn't feel as much as like, oh, I gotta do this thing or whatever. I just work it in to my routine so it is a habit like brushing my teeth and washing my face. I don't dread having to brush my teeth or wash my face. I just roll up out of the bed and I do it. Just like Sharon, I, I don't dread having to go in the shower. I just get up and I do that mess. So some habits that I would like to talk about as we go on about our week this week is organizing those drawers and I probably also need to, I kind of want to do a mini organization of my closet. I'm not trying to do anything too drastic because it's still winter, very much still wearing winter clothes, and it's not time yet to break out the summer things. It probably won't be time to break out the, well, the spring slash summer things until June. Because <laughs> the way this weather wants to be acting, who knows, you know what I'm saying? Another thing, I have been doing my 10K step a day challenge. Not every day I make it. I've been posting that over on TikTok, so make sure you follow me on TikTok. My TikTok is style and beauty doctor. So, you know, going ahead over there and you can see like little mini vlogs of what I do throughout the day and how I have been or have not been making my 10K steps. And once again, 10K, you know, there is some research that you don't have to do as many as 10K that maybe somewhere around 6,000 might be sufficient, but I like 10K. 10K is a really good number because even on a day like today where I go to the gym, I'm still not really getting all my steps in. And then on Tuesdays and Thursdays where I'm mostly filming and very, very sedentary, I definitely want to make sure that I get my activity up on those days. And another habit, I need to increase my quality of sleep. I used to have it so good when it came to sleep, but as of late, I would say within the last four or five months, it's been trash. So I'm gonna read up on, and it's funny, I have to read up on habits on how to get back into my sleep cycle when I could just do what I was doing before. I don't know, I like researching things, so I'm gonna do that. And then we're gonna have us some lunch. So sweet potato fries. And I got me some parchment paper because I had ran out and then I didn't want to put foil in the, in the, uh, what you call it, in the air fryer and then burn up the ting, burn up the place, fire up on the place. You know, I ain't want that. I'm not want that. Yo, yesterday was freaking amazing. Let me tell you something. First of all, I, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a true Virgo in the sense of I re reenact all of my interactions to be like, damn, I could have did this better, I could have did that better. But at that brunch, now let me tell you something. I love those ladies who put together, matter of fact, I'm gonna put their information up on the screen here. Anyway, I'm gonna put their information, their platform is Enjoy Lux with um, an I, so E-N-J-O-I. L-U-X, those women have such great energy. I would, my wheels are turning now because I'm like, they do these brunches, these annual brunches, but I kind of feel like, look at me thinking of stuff for like giving other people more work. But I was like, ooh, that, that might be a good thing. But I just felt so inspired in that room. Lyris Cross, who is, and I'm sure a lot of you already know who Lyris Cross is, but she's a plus size supermodel, had such an amazing story. Though I was so like, first of all, I was happy that I went on before she did because she gave a Sunday sermon. Home girl was ready to preach to the crowd. And I was just like, wow, she's so good. And one of the things that she said, which was, an answer to a question that a woman who was standing next to me had asked. She had asked her about how do you get the motivation to keep going when you feel like you've been knocked down? And Lyris thought about it for a second. And this is where I was like, dang, I wish I could, you know, like come up that quick. Cause I feel like my brain works faster than my mouth does. So I think of things, but it's like, it's not like connecting with my mouth. But she thought about it for like maybe five seconds tops, right? And then she was like, well, you know, God puts things in your life for 
a reason, a season, or a lifetime. And she said, and she explained what she meant by that. You know, a reason is, is there a reason? Does he, does he want you to pivot? Does he want you to not do something or whatever? Season, are you just putting me through this so that I could learn a lesson and get better for you setting me up for something that's gonna be for a lifetime? The way that she delivered this, and then there was, I, I was so enthralled that I could not even pick up this camera to even get some footage of it. And I, I wish that my body could have like done both things so that you guys could see what I was talking about as well. But my body was just like, like I could not like detach myself from like listening and looking. But she physically moved up and she was like, you keep going and you keep going. And she kept getting closer and closer to us. And then she kept like, oh my God, the girl next to me is crying. I'm crying. <laughs> I'm like, damn, how I'm catching strays off of your question. But the reason why it made me cry is because that's exactly what I've been going through the last couple of months where it's like, so many bad things kept happening one after the other. And it's so easy once you come out of something to be able to look back and be like, okay, there was a reason for that. There was some lesson being taught. And there were times where I felt down and, and, and defeated where I was like, damn, there's gotta be a lesson to this. But sometimes it's like, you know, the, the seasonal depression kick in and then you got stuff going on and it'd be like, dang man it's too much like i like in my heart of hearts i know that it's going to get better but in the very moment sometimes it's very hard to realize that so her saying that just kind of validated things for me and i was just like oh my god like just crying but that was so good that was really good and she's inspiring me to do better with public speaking that was amazing I, I think I think if I was uh, if I was can't dwell on things because you know as a true Virgo I'm looking back at the way I gave my speech and I'm like oh I could have did this better I could have did that I could have did this but ultimately I gotta feel like it was the best well I don't know I don't know let's eat lunch oh y'all tell me what are your favorite juices in the comments because I don't drink juice well I drink juice obviously but I don't drink juice like regularly I just drink water but. I need to have like a refreshing beverage, delicious refreshing beverage in the fridge for when company comes over. And so I would love some suggestions. I got this Welch's Passion Fruit, which I've had before. I don't love it, but my mom was suggesting that I get it. I picked up this guava pineapple, which looks promising, but I also picked up this passion fruit juice concentrate. Uh, the brand is Real Grande. It looked real ethnic. So I was like, oh, this is probably good. So you mix this with one part juice, eight parts water, and then you put enough sugar to taste. I feel like this might hit for something. And I mean, that's all I got on the juice front. <laughs> so let me know what your suggestions are, because I want to make sure that when company comes over that I have a nice little, you know, a little drankity drink. Also, any kind of like snack, well, I was gonna say snack ideas, but, cause you know, okay, so here's what I wanna do. Sometimes I might randomly have company and I wanna be able to offer them things. Now, technically, because, you know, I live in a metropolitan area, if people are coming over randomly, it ain't nothing but for me to like, just go across the street and get, you know, get snacks and stuff like that. So I was gonna say that maybe I wanted something to keep in the house so that just in case somebody comes by and I don't have to go outside, but never mind because I just realized like, I'm gonna wind up eating it. So <laughs> it's probably best that I don't keep any snacks in the house. Juice, you know, juice I could contain myself because I do want to try this guava pineapple and I do want to try passion fruit. Me personally, when I want a juice, I don't, I prefer like a, a real ethnic ass juice, like pineapple ginger juice, which I've had Ghana, like if it was going out of style and I've had pineapple ginger juice from some of the, like the Jamaican food places over here. Uh, of course, Trinidadian sorrel. I don't want juice from other countries. I, I don't want, I don't typically want this kind of juice, but this is, I, I can't deny the, the convenience and the convenience of that. So anyway, let me get your juice ideas. Oh, this is good. I'm so mad because, let me tell you what I did. So essentially, I lied on my D 
Now, in case you were unaware, that is a phrase. I remember saying that back in high school and college. So this is like uh, very late 90s, early 2000s. And essentially, it's, it's typically when a man is like, yeah, girl, I'm going to give it to you. And this and that, and the third and year, and you going to love it. And, da -da 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 -da. and then you get it, and it's like, that was it? So I feel like I lied on my D about my cooking with my family. Tasting how much better this food tastes today than it did yesterday, I, I'm like, I need a do-over. I need y'all to come back and get some jerk chicken uh, with mango pineapple salsa because when you make it with the canned mango, I'm, I'm gonna assume it's because the canned mango is in that light syrup. And even though I don't even use much of the light syrup, I, I still drain it. It's been like sitting and marinating in the light syrup. It tastes so much better than the frozen mango. Now, I don't get fresh mango because if I would get fresh mango to make the uh, mango pineapple salsa, I would probably be buying mangoes, buying mangoes, buying mangoes, buying mangoes because it would go, I don't know that it would necessarily go bad because I would probably just eat it just straight up. Although I do prefer foreign mangoes. This tastes so much better with the canned mango. So I've remade the mango pineapple salsa. Also, I, for whatever reason, I marinated and seasoned and seasoned and seasoned the chicken breast without cutting it in half first. And so when I realized, I'm like, oh shoot, now I never cut the chicken in half. There was no jerk seasoning on the in, you know, on the other side. So I was kind of like taking the chicken and, you know, wrapping it around itself, uh, rubbing it uh, amongst itself to get more of the jerk seasoning when I should have just went in the fridge, got some jerk seasoning and put more jerk seasoning on the chicken. But uh, he went to me with some. I'll get them to come back. I'm gonna get my do over. Yo, I, I usually wind up not being able to show y'all much because it's a class and, you know, I don't want to get other people in and, you know, I don't want to get kicked out of the, the system, you know what I'm saying? But she had us doing some wild shit in Pilates just now. <laughs> I was like, what? All kinds of <clears throat> twisting up your back and, and going down on the, the, the chair and the, and the reform, like crazy so pilates if you're not if you're unfamiliar which i you know i feel like most people would know but you know there's still a lot of people who don't know it works the small muscles like muscles that you probably like i didn't even know there was a muscle there pilates be working them little small muscles so you know after a while she might be all small muscled up you know what i'm saying i ate something this morning that made my stomach feel a little bit funny and because i woke up my stomach was on flat but after i ate breakfast my stomach was like <laughs> Yo, I need to start couponing. <laughs> Extreme couponing. Maybe that'll be another challenge I do <laughs> down the line. Because I'm like, I save what I can in the, you know, when Target had their little things or whatever, but I could be using manufacturer coupons too. So I might go down a little coupon and rabbit hole on YouTube and see what I can see. All right, I needed a new cutting board because, <laughs> as you saw earlier, this, this broke. So I got this because I needed a cutting board, but I also like that it's matte black because I like for things in the kitchen to either be matte black or wood because that's the, or clear because those are the, the color scheme I got up in here. These feel very durable. And I do like that this looks to be non-porous. I was cutting chicken on the wood. I don't know that you're really supposed to do that, but I'm still here. <laughs> so these are, um, I'm not even sure what material this is. Does it say? It's made with 25% recycled plastic. I don't know what else is, what else at all is in here. But I'm gonna take a picture of these and put them on my LTK. And the LTK will be in the link in the description. So most things that you see in my vlogs, you know, you just go into LTK. There's an apartment collection. So if you're looking for like furniture and stuff like that, that I have in here, that's going to be in there. I also got <laughs> this Coca-Cola Spice. I am not a big soda drinker. Oh, it's raspberry spiced. Okay. 
I'm not a big soda drinker, but this definitely did pique my interest. I was like, well, I wonder what that tastes like. So I got that small little can. I really should have checked this. Oh, I did check on this. I am going to make this dessert that I saw on Weight Watchers. Uh, I forget what it's called, but it's basically you put an apple, you bake it in the oven, you put this powdered peanut butter. It calls for chocolate syrup, but uh, chocolate has dairy in it. So I'm gonna just do caramel. Caramel, um, slivered almonds, and some other seasonings. If I, if I make it, I'm pretty sure I'll make it soon because you know these apples gonna wind up looking like the walking dead if I only eat them. So I'm pretty sure we'll make it together. And I'll show you the recipe. I don't know why I'm like doing like a grocery haul, but I guess I'm doing a grocery haul. My Cascade, uh, what you call it, for the dishwasher. And to wipe the bum. <laughs> oh, I also had, I also got these Talenti mango bars. They're two points. Whatever I want, like a little, you know, just like a little something. They, oh, this might be my last time getting them though, because there's mad sugar in here. 29 grams of sugar. Oh, 40, 44% of your daily sugar would come from this. Like that's a lot, that's a lot of sugar. 22 grams added sugar, 29 grams sugar. How is this only two points? I guess because it's so small, but this probably be the last time I do that. Now here's the thing. I, you know, I love like a little, little treat, little dessert, but child, I need to find something. Like I've been, I eat popcorn. So I'll do like this and I'll make like my own microwave popcorn, sprinkle a little seasoning on it. Uh, but like sometimes you just want, and Weight Watchers has good dessert recipes, but I might just have to wean myself off of that kind of stuff <laughs> or just save it for the weekend where I can just have the real thing because some of them's recipes is still a lot of points or it's a small amount of points, but the servings are like this big. And it's like, really, you gonna tease me <laughs> and tell me like, oh, it's just two points, but you can only have this much of it. Like by the time I finish, it'd be like 20 points, you know? Anyway, yo, also this shopper that um from Target, like homeboy was really good. I think he's one of my preferred shoppers because um, and he's definitely getting his 20%. Maybe I'll give him a couple more dollars, more over the 20%. Cause he went above and beyond. He was friendly and he was a good communicator. So you can have the 20 bucks. Nah, but dude, dude was like, he was checking expiration dates. He was like, cause my, the vegan butter I wanted, it had a really close, actually it didn't even have a really close ex expiration date. That joint was expired. And he was like, Ooh, that's the only one available. You still want it? I was like, Ooh, hell no, but thank you for checking. And then he was showing me like on his GPS, like how far away he was. I'm like, okay, you gotta work hard for that money. All right, it is lunchtime, and guess what we eating? Chicken. <laughs> Big surprise, right? I'm still on my jerk chicken phase. I'm going to have a piece of chicken. I cooked three pieces last night, and I need to just heat this up and put a little water on it. And I'm gonna, I made some potatoes. The potatoes are already made. And we're gonna add our arugula like we normally do, you know? One minute, 30 seconds. So I was watching this video on, I want to say it was CNBC, one of those like money channels or whatever on YouTube. And they were talking about how there's a disconnect between what the economy is actually doing and how consumers feel. And although the economy is doing much better, it's doing good, or so they say. <laughs> um, no, I think the economy is doing good because I started getting more more people up in my inbox talking about, hey, what's up? And I was like, I don't know what's up with you. But um, because like inflation, especially inflation on grocery prices is still, still having come down. So I wanted to know what y'all was feeling when it comes to this, uh, this current economy. Cause I'm, I'm like, for me, it's weird because there's nothing I need to buy and I can't really do or I can't really do anything until after tax time. <laughs> Cause unlike most people who, who love tax time cause you know, they get refunds. I be owing and I be owing a lot. <laughs> so I, I can't really make any kind of moves until April 15th or 16th or whenever um, the deadline is this year. So my mom does my taxes. She's a, a certified tax preparer and I'm almost nervous to see like, oh Lord, how much I owe. 
much I owe these people because I just want to give them a little bit of money, but <laughs> they'd be like, nah, girl, you got to pay your way. So, I, I mean, I'm able to pay rent and pay Jasmine and pay my editor. Um, I didn't want to pay Con Edison, but they paid themselves because I'm on auto pay. But yeah, I, I won't feel the pinch until like, until I know how much I owe. And I'm really hoping it's less than $20,000. <laughs> and another this year I'm definitely going to here's a pro, here's the thing with estimated taxes so there's a thing where your business is supposed to pay estimated taxes and it's based on uh, the the amount of money you made in the previous year right so all right cool I have I have definitely paid estimated tax before in the past however um sometimes by the time I pay like I haven't paid any 2024 estimated taxes yet and I can't because I gotta pay what I owe for 2023. So by the time I catch up is like June-ish. And then I'd be like, selfishly be like, well, I don't wanna give the government a interest-free loan. So let me hold on to my money. But then, you know, you get charged penalties when you do stuff like that. So it's, I'd just be like, yo, man, no matter what, they be coming for us. But you know what, that's okay. We are gonna get into our routines now. Like I said, the theme for this vlog is routine. So last night, I did not go to bed at the time I was supposed to go to bed. However, I did try something that I learned from a video that I watched on uh, how to get better sleep. And it was a, I'll, if I remember, if I don't remember, you know, I know somebody gonna tell me in the comments to um, let you know what the link is. Um, but if I don't remember, you know, somebody, somebody will remind me when this video goes live to link the video. However, one of the tips was to stop doing the snoozing. And I'm infamous for that because I have my alarm going off at 7, 7.30, 8, 8.30, and then 9. Now, if I get up at 9, no matter what day of the week it is, like I might as well get up at 4 p.m. <laughs> but this morning, I well, last night I took off the 7 and then 7.30 because I'm like, I haven't woken, gotten up at 7 in a minute, unless like I had a photo shoot or something. But I took those alarms off and just had the eight o'clock one. And I felt so much better when I woke up. I mean, I did hit snooze at eight o'clock and then I was like, girl, come on now, you're defeating the purpose. So we, we, we gonna get there, we are gonna get there. And I've been making my steps. Now today is one of those step days that are extremely low because, you know, I don't really need to be anywhere on Tuesdays and Thursdays other than, you know, if I do Pilates. But I think what I'm going to do is after my lunch digest, I might go downstairs, do my two miles on the treadmill and then come back up and chill. So that way I have a majority by then I should have. How many steps do I have already? Okay, so I have 3,437 steps so far for the day, and it's uh, 121. When I go on the treadmill for two miles, I can't remember how many steps that was. I want to say it's like 4,000, maybe 4,500 steps. It might be a little bit more than that. So if I can get down and do my two miles on the treadmill, even if I don't make it to 10,000 steps today, that's, that's uh, still a win, but... Yesterday I did 11,000 something, which reminds me I need to um, go post on TikTok to fulfill my challenge from yesterday. We're gonna try this together. I don't know why I'm doing this like as if I'm drinking an alcoholic beverage. <laughs> oh, I feel like that tried to poison me. Maybe if it wasn't zero sugar, it would have tasted better. Um, I don't know if they have that that flavor in the regular soda, but yeah. <laughs> and now I'm not. I don't know if y'all can see that. And I feel like I've shown this to y'all before too, but this is killing me every time I look at it. And in case you couldn't make out what that was, it's these nuts. <laughs> well, dim nuts. I just had to drive into Long Island to get them to kind of loosen up um, a track up here because that joint was killing my head. I already have a little issue with some hair. My neighbor seems to think it's stress, which would make sense. But I'm going to see what Dr. Michelle says on Friday when I see her. Because I had some breakage here and I'm pretty sure back here in the back because I remember going on set for something and one of the stylists was like, what happened back here? But now that I think about it, that's where the clippings for the U-part wig or, you know, the regular wig would go. That broke my hair off. 
but I also have some thinning. I don't think you, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I have some thinning here that I only noticed within the last couple days when they braided my hair. Well, yeah, when they braided, both, right before they braided my hair down, I noticed the thin, the thinning. I was like, that wasn't there before. Like, what's happening? So, I'm, oops, I done turned the car off. I'm gonna see what. Dr. Michelle says, whether we doing some minoxidil or if I need to do like PRP or wh whatever the hell they be doing, we gonna see. And I will eventually put that on the skincare channel because um if it's something where it's like a bunch of different uh, uh what do you call it uh sessions like you know like a bunch of different treatments that i need over time then i would just rather wait until i'm like the hair grows back and i'm done and then i'll put that up on the skincare channel as like a a documentary kind of thing that'd be kind of cool so stay tuned and and by the way i appreciate y'all for staying tuned because when i um open up my youtube and i see comments from the same people over and over again i'm like y'all mess with me <laughs> and then when i see new people i'm like oh more people dead one of them dead you know they're like hey that girl's okay or maybe y'all be like oh that girl crazy but i think y'all like my crazy I'm so glad I went and had her loosen up them tracks. It feels, you know, like when I can't even describe it. Like, I guess if you have, I haven't worn shapewear that was tight in a minute, but it's, it's just a relief. I don't even need to give you a uh, an analogy, <laughs> but I'm at 6,030 steps. I'm about to go and um, do my walk on the treadmill. I gotta find, oh, well, I'm gonna just bring the charger with me. I love convenience. And when I tell you that I like to be keeping my coins, you know, close to me, cause they my coins, but I will pay more for convenience, which is why I be um, uh, paying to have my groceries delivered and giving them people the tips, <laughs> nice tips. Because when it comes to, well, the grocery store up the block for me, I be in there a lot. <laughs> but there's just certain things that, you know, it's better to get at Target and Target is not as close to me. I would have to get in the car, drive, pay to park, come back, be possibly be in traffic. Like it's 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 giving let, let somebody else do it. But I love that there is a gym in the building which I haven't utilized as much as I should have. But especially now for this 10,000 step challenge, I have been because even though I was like, okay, my phone, she probably gonna need to be charged a little bit, but they got outlets and I got a long ass um, I, uh, Apple uh, charger. Cause you know, sometimes you buy them, them off brand ones and you know, it worked for a little bit, but then after a while, Apple be like, gotcha, bitch. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to, okay, I need this, my phone, cause we gonna watch some TV. I don't know what I'm gonna watch. I'll figure it out when I get down there. Oh, I gotta take the bonnet off. I'm gonna put on this scarf because I doubt that I'm going to sweat, but I still wanna make sure that, you know, I keep my little leave out covered. Hold on. Whew, all right. Yeah, I seriously doubt I'm gonna be sweating <laughs> for my little walk, but I still wanna cover up my leave out because I wanna do as the least amount of heat on this thing as possible. And yo, honestly, I think I'm going, oh, I'm gonna see what Dr. Michelle says when she sees my hair on Friday. But honestly, I think for my next hair stage, I think I'm just gonna go do a relaxer. But um, I'm gonna stretch them out like I used to back in the day. And do you guys follow um, Dominique? <sighs> I forget for a second what Dominique's last name is. But Dominique, well, me, her channel is Style Domination. But I forget what her last name is. I, gotta, I don't even know where I'm, oh, the phone is in my damn pocket. But she has a hair channel. She has relaxed hair. She stretches her relaxers out. She has a video where she, um, Dominique Baker is her name. And um, she has a video where she talks about how she stretches out her relaxers and what she does to uh, retain length and yada, yada, yada. I actually came to the realization, I don't even know when. It had to be like, you know, sometimes you, you think of things off and on and then you're like, yeah, maybe I should do that. But then you're like, eh, let me stick to what I've been doing. But for a while I've been like, yo, I've been able to retain more length, less break, way less breakage when I had a relaxer than being natural. 
but I'm so used to being natural that I'm like, I don't know about this straight hair thing, but also I'm sick and tired of the hair breaking. So I'm gonna see what Dr. Michelle says. And I'm gonna have to make a decision. Cause I'm thinking if I get a relaxer and maybe I'll cut my hair short and then grow it out, <laughs> which sounds kind of dumb. Um, but if I get a relaxer, I definitely need to have some sort of haircut because I want to basically be able to comb it out of the wrap and <laughs> go like this and be able to go on about my business. All right, so we got our steps in. Ooh, I freaking love Jerenika Mycia. Like, I really love watching her vlogs and <laughs> She, her, I don't know what, cause I, I don't be seeing the dates on things. When I watch them, when they come up in my recommended, I just be like, click. Um, so I'm not sure which vlog this was, but I think it's the one where, I think it had something about nosy or something like that in the title. But <laughs> this is part of the vlog that had me crack it up because I was like, oh my God, girl, you got me in such suspense. And you know, I don't want to give it away cause I would rather you go watch her vlog and give her some watch time and stuff like that. And then for me to, <laughs> Oh, I'm out of breath. Now for me to be recapping her, her vlog over here, <laughs> but she had me cracking up. I love watching her. She just seems so relatable, peaceful, fly, funny, cool. And I got to meet her. If you've been watching this vlog for a while, I got to meet her last year in, um, at Essence Fest. And I was like, hey girl, if it's, if it's anything, if, if anything's gonna happen, I'm, I'm a geek out <laughs> and I'm not gonna be afraid of, of geeking out either. If I love your stuff, I'm gonna come up to you and be like, oh my God, I love your stuff, what's up, yo? And I was so happy to get the same energy back. Sometimes, sometimes you give that energy and people be like, oh, okay. I don't take it back, but you know, sometimes I'll be like, oh, maybe I gave them too much that, 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 you know, that they can handle, you know what I'm saying? But nah, I heard the energy was matched, I love that, right? And although we are at 10,000 steps for the day and it's only 9.38, I don't think I'm gonna be doing a whole bunch of walking around, but who knows? But I'm gonna end the steps at that because I would like to post I'm just gonna put the two together yesterday's update and today's update all in one and just go make one TikTok so I'm about to do that right now make sure you follow me on TikTok style and beauty doctor I also have style and beauty doc but long story with that I couldn't get back into it so I just started a new account <laughs> I meant to say this before but oh my god it feels so much better in here, which I did say before, but I also wanted to say is do not be afraid to speak up. You ain't gotta be all nasty like, bitch, you done put my brain in my head too tiny and you did this too tiny, bitch, you gonna know I mean? We don't need to bring that kind of energy. We can be like, yo, girl, <laughs> you braided my brain? <laughs> no. Um, Don't be afraid if something does not feel right with a hairstyle, because I think like a lot of us are conditioned to think that in order for a hairstyle to last, and for us to get our money's worth like it needs to be tight and sleek and you know all this and the third and mm -mm. me I would rather learn how to sew the tracks that fall out on my own than to have this thing super tight and it's hurting my head and it's pulling on my hair and then for it to potentially cause uh, hair loss nah because you know it's more expensive when you get to a stage of hair loss where only you, that your hair is only going to come back with medical intervention and we talked about that in a video uh, on you know losing your edge it, 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 the irony is not lost on me that one of the biggest videos for my skincare channel was and still is on losing your edges which I did with a dermatologist who specializes and hair loss and at the time yo, I had edges for days like people would comment on some of my like videos and posts and stuff be like damn you got some thick like you got like look at your edge you got edges and I used to be like yeah I got edges and um my edges are slipping away from me but I'm gonna get them back I'm gonna get them back but in that video which I highly suggest looking at if you haven't already we talk about the different stages of hair loss and you know, you get to stage, I have to actually rewatch re that video myself because I believe it's stage two where you need 
where you can do things like the prescription minoxidil and like the PRP and there's other types of uh, like microneedling or other types of things that uh, dermatologists can help you with. Now you want to make sure you go to someone who specializes in black hair because some of the treatments that you would get from someone who's not very well versed in our hair, they might give you something where the active ingredient is something that we need, but the other things that are in it to, you know, kind of make it a solution might be drying on our hair and could cause it to break. So definitely make sure you research your people and researching your people don't mean asking me who I know. I don't know everybody, but, um, but yeah, I, I definitely do not be afraid to speak your mind when it comes to your hair. Okay. Okay? And if the person is giving you fever, tell them, yo, bitch, I will get, nah, they, d I, I know some people are unprofessional. I, I have not had an unprofessional hair experience probably since the 90s, you know, but um, if they're being unprofessional, I don't I ain't got no advice for you. Maybe somebody will tell you something in the comments, but uh, usually I kind of stand my ground and be like, you know, come on sis, let's be reasonable here. Like, you know, I, we both want a, a favorable outcome and you know, you try to reason it. And if you can't reason it, sometimes you just gotta, I don't know, take it to the next step. Take her to, to what's that guy's name? Take her to Judge Mathis. Yo, I am so freaking annoyed right now. You ever be so mad that you can't even speak? Well, now I'm able to speak. But I got another freaking ticket, $135, right? Now, this, oh, I got this at the gym. Now, the gym has a parking lot. However, half of the spots in the parking lot are reserved, so you can't park in those spots. And then, you know, the time I come to the gym, either a class is in session or a class is finished or there's just other people there. So there's no uh, empty spots out of the ones that are available that aren't reserved. So I park on the street like everyone else does. Apparently, and I've been doing that, how long I've been coming to this gym? I have to have been coming to this gym for like a year, maybe over a year now. And no one has ever said, oh, you can't can't park on the street park in the parking lot because actually what happened is in between me coming to this gym there used to be where you could park anywhere in the parking lot and then as time progressed more and more of the parking spaces said reserved so I'm like all right I'll park on the street because it seems like that's what most other people do anyway so I get this ticket because there's a it's a thing with a border in New York City the streets are owned nobody owns the street in New York City and some places in Long Island you can have some private streets and you know that sort of thing so I, first of all, I didn't even realize that the gym was in Long Island because it's like on a border but there say I park my car here if I had to estimate I would say maybe the signs and I've never noticed these signs before but the signs are the signs have got to be more than a thousand feet away from where I go to the gym so if I saw a sign I'm not even gonna like it's my bad because the sign was there but then it's like why is the sign so far away from the jurisdiction if you will right so but okay so fine I paid the $135 ticket but now I'm like this is gonna be such a major inconvenience because either I'm gonna have to switch the time that I go to the gym because most of the time when I come, there are other people in the gym for, a, you know, a class. Forget it if it's a class, because a class can have at least like 15 to 20 people in it and being having to contend for parking for that. Then if I uh, block somebody in, then I got to go outside, move my car. Like that is annoying. So now I'm like reconsidering we had to yes we had to work something out like we, we probably have to change the time that i go because i'm not gonna be oh my god I almost saw somebody look like they was about to get in an accident i'm not gonna be coming to the gym 
waiting for somebody to come out of a spot. Now, mind you, like I just said, sometimes a class will have like 15, 20 people in it. If I can do my math correctly, there's only like six parking spots available in the parking lot. Like that doesn't make any sense. And I'm, I'm trying to understand how it is that there are reserved parking spots in this parking in this parking lot and it's reserved for something not not people who own the gym or who go to the gym it's for some agency i can't i, I don't even remember what those signs say but i remember seeing those because it was right there but i'm just like 135 goddamn dollars and then the cop or whoever came to put the thing on there i I, li I really did not understand why i was getting a ticket but he was yelling at me as if i knew and was purposely parking there and he's like well the residents complain every day and i'm like i ain't get to say this because i'm still like oh, whatever i got a fucking ticket but i'm like i don't know if i was a resident would i call like my thing is i can't fault the residents for calling because it's like it's their private street people shouldn't be parking on it but i'm also like why hasn't the gym said anything like okay you know this is this is where this is a private street don't park there like oh i'm so annoyed and i was all excited to go home well i do have some work i need to do and that's another thing like i thought that this week would have been not as hectic that i would have been able to you know i'm not gonna film i you know there's other things that i could do and this week still wound up being hectic anyway so it's like what the fuck but i wanted to go home and look up flights to go to buffalo because um i knew this from years ago but i must have forgotten but on and April 8th, 2024, there's going to be a solar eclipse and there's like a pathway like it's like if you look at a map, it's like diagonal. It starts. I don't know if it starts any further north than um, upstate New York, but there are places like the Adirondacks, Buffalo, I think Rochester, and then it kind of goes down all the way into Texas. But it's a very narrow line where you'd be able to see the totality of the solar eclipse. I think it's a total solar eclipse. But anyway, I want to see that shit. So I'm over here like okay let me see if i can find it's probably kind of late to find like accommodations and stuff because i'm sure all the geeks done got their stuff years ago but i want to see if i can get a i don't want to drive because that's too many hours driving but i want to see if i can get a flight because a flight to buffalo is probably like an hour and some change get a flight in that same day hang out see the total eclipse and then catch a flight back home and come back home the same day so that is what i want to do that is what i want to spend my money on today and I'm gonna make that happen. All right, making some chicken wings. First thing I do is I marinate in pickle juice. That helps to give it that moisture. I usually like to do pickle juice and buttermilk, but even just marinating chicken and buttermilk be messing up my stomach. So I just do the pickle juice, but it tastes so good when you do pickle juice and the buttermilk. All right, so you let that marinate for 30 minutes to an hour. Um, then we're going to, well, in the meantime, we are going to do the seasoning and okay now i like to do this mama laverne uh chicken and waffle uh chicken waffle and pancake mix uh, duo which i get from target however i really wish that they would just sell the chicken seasoning because when i tell you i have so many of <laughs> the pancake seasonings from these that I don't use because I usually don't make the pancakes or the waffles when I make my chicken. You know what I mean? I just had chicken by itself. So I really wish they would sell the seasoning on, the, on its own. Um, I'm probably going to probably make my own seasoning. <laughs> Although this is really good. So I take this all right, so we got the chicken seasoning in there, and I'm gonna add some stuff to this. We're going to add some cornstarch and some cornmeal. Now, the reasoning behind this is that, uh, first of all, it gives it a nice taste, but it also allows for like a light golden brown, crispy, delicious uh, chicken wing, or chicken leg or thigh, whatever, however you wanna or whatever pieces you want to cook. And then I mix this up together. Hopefully this is enough for the wings. If not, if it is not enough, I will put more uh, seasoning, cornmeal, and cornstarch, which reminds me I need to add cornmeal, cornstarch to my uh, target order, which I 
really wish I would have did yesterday when I actually placed a target order. So after the chicken is soaked, you're going to rinse the chicken from the pickle juice marinade. Um, and I like to take a paper towel and kind of dry it off just so that, I mean, I don't technically need to do that because I'm about to put it in an egg wash and get it wet anyway, but I don't know, something about having excess water does, I don't know, I feel like the stuff is not gonna stick as well as it should, although it probably might stick anyway. So then we're going to take our chicken and we are going to put it in the egg wash, flip it over, stick it in the marinade. Now, before I did this, I went ahead and preheated the oil. So the oil is still heating up as we're waiting for this. I like to use peanut oil, and there's a reason why I like to use peanut oil that I don't remember. <laughs> but I remember in when I was, you know, looking up stuff and reading different recipes that there's a reason why people like peanut oil. If I can remember, I'll probably like Google and let you guys know as well too. But if I forget to Google it, you know, I'm more than free to Google yourselves. So we're gonna do that. Now you want that oil though to get to, well before we talk about the oil, let me um, get this in and then move the camera so that y'all could see what it is that I'm doing. A two camera setup would have been real clutch, which I, I could put together, but I'm feeling kind of lazy. <laughs> Now, I would get you one of these food thermometers. Um, sometimes we have some seasoned cooks who can kind of like, you know, know when stuff is, is ready to go. Um, I'm, I'm not quite there yet. I'm there when I know when the chicken is done. I'm not there yet with knowing whether the oil is ready. So you want to make sure that is at least at 350 degrees. And we're going to make some magic happen. My mom recently got me this pot. It also comes with this uh, basket thing, but I got too many chicken wings in there to use a basket. This would come in handy if like I was deep frying some shrimp or some fries or something. I have no clue where she got it from. Knowing her, it's probably from Timu because she loved her some Timu. And she finally got her order dated that was delivered December 15, 2023. <laughs> you know, the order that she, she placed, but then she forgot that she was going to Georgia. Well, maybe she didn't forget she was going to Georgia. Maybe she thought that the order would have came in time. So I had to have her rerouted to come here. But I kept forgetting. I, I wasn't even, I wasn't going in that in her direction. So, you know, I, I wasn't going to make a special trip just to go there. That's gas. <laughs> but um, this has been happening. Well, this always has happened where I'll be talking and I forget what I'm talking about while I'm talking about it. But anyway, um, <laughs> I think I, if you guys remember from the vlog when I went upstate to celebrate Donna, uh, my niece's birthday, my mom texted me at like two o'clock in the morning to go, where's my Timu order dated December 15th, delivered December 15th. So who knows, that might've been in it and I could have been using this all along. <laughs> all right, so let me tell you how I know chicken is done. I use my ears and I listen. So hopefully the camera is picking up on that, on that noise so that you guys can hear too. Now obviously it's not done yet because I just put it in there, but when it's on its way to being done, hopefully um, I can capture the noise so you can see the difference between that and when the chicken is done. All right, now y'all might think I'm crazy, but there is a difference. Do you hear where it's like, it sounds a little bit more hollow? That's how I know it's om like it's, it's, it's almost there. And plus it looks, has this like nice golden brown color. Let me show you. Here's that golden brown color. <laughs> I might sound crazy, but I, I can hear a difference. Now, one thing I learned about frying chicken, I was watching something that Funky Dineva had done. This gotta be like more than five years ago where he was frying some chicken on a video. And um, he mentioned that the chicken will start to kind of float to the top. That's another indicator. But if you like, all right, I need something a little bit more technical than that, your chicken should be cooked to, I think it's 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Here's my phone. Yeah, 165. Now, that sounding done. I'm gonna give it two more minutes, but that hollowness, that's what I be listening for. Now, this is only my second time using this pot with that uh, top thing on it. I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it. Especially because like it's helping to prevent the, the grease from 
flying up and getting on <laughs> my cabinets and the ceiling and whatnot. Cause one day I was sitting down and I was looking up at the ceiling. And I was like, is that oil? So I had to get up there and clean the oil. I know y'all hear it. Y'all gotta hear that. Hopefully the mic is picking it up. That chicken is done. Now I wouldn't advise, I would not advise moving the pot too soon, but I got a curious ass cat. And the last thing I need is for my poor baby to get burnt up by this oil. So I just kind of moved that to the back over there. This chicken is a little browner than what I normally make. And that's probably because, you know, I had oil that I had used previously, not too long ago, but that looks good. So we're gonna let it drain in the paper towel and then we gonna eat it. Now, while I think the chicken tastes amazing on its own, well, I just realized I don't have no more mambos. Well, I do have a lot more mambo sauce, but this goes by fast. I, while I do think the chicken tastes amazing on its own, I do like a nice sauce. And this mambo sauce has been my favorite thus far but you can do you know whatever sauce like what else i got in here you can make something with like some sriracha and some honey um uh, oh some sriracha honey and relish that would be i might need to make me a sriracha honey and relish sauce and try that on the side you could do some polynesian sauce from chick-fil-a uh, just be mindful if you're like if this is not a cheat meal, well, this is a cheat meal. <laughs> but if you are trying to keep the cheatation down, uh, check the calories and the points and whatnot on these sauces because some of them, the sauce be having more calories and points than the actual uh, protein that you are eating. I'm gonna do sriracha honey. Where is my honey? Oh, I hope I got more honey than this. Lord, I might add some of this. this well, I need to buy more of this syrup too for my get together on, um, Saturday. Well, I hope I have more syrup. Not syrup, um, uh, honey. All right, so get the relish. Yeah, I'ma just whip up a quick little sauce, see how that tastes. Where is the honey? Ah, thank goodness. And it's just like honey. chicken wings then we have our mambo sauce and then our experimental sauce that i just made with sriracha hoodie and relish all right here we go we're gonna try the experimental sauce first mm, it smells good <clears throat> that's a ratchet kick <laughs> <laughs> that's what I should say. <laughs> wow, but that's good. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God. Wait, hold up. I might have me a new sauce. Wow. Mmm. We got company. Oh man. That is delicious. I didn't even finish my workout today because I ran outside to try to avoid getting a ticket. I'm so annoyed. It's like the spiciness of the sriracha, which I don't taste the spiciness anymore. The sweetness of the honey, and then the sour of the relish. I got one of these greedy, tasty things when I'm by myself. All right, let me turn this camera off because I'm about to <laughs> do some things to these chicken wings. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I don't know where I put the ticket. I was gonna find, you know, show you the ticket again. But sometimes you be down, but the next minute you be up. Cause I was hitting here and yamming down my chicken wings. And I got an email. I got a pretty sizable, it's not like huge, but a multi post deal with Target and Hero Cosmetics, which Hero Cosmetics makes the acne patches and they also have some other really cool products. Um, I have to see if they have anything um, new coming out as part of this campaign, but they got some bomb hero patches, uh, pimple patches. But I'm just like, we fall down, but we get up. So I'm back in a good mood. I'm still annoyed with the gym because I'm just like, we got to figure that out because we got to figure that out. Also, I am now texting with my friends, Melissa and Kalina. We might be having a Cowboy Carter, what you call it? 
a cowboy Carter listening party. But Melissa said, yes, let's do it in my gym so we can be loud and obnoxious because your neighbor's going to call a popo on us. We don't need to stress Oscar out. <laughs> ah! But I'm going to be my little nerdy self and be like, hi, did you look at this TikTok that I found that has the deeper meaning behind why the album is called Cow Cowboy Carter? Because there was a, uh, the Carter family in the country world is heralded as like the, the God family of country. However, the may, the matriarch, I think they said her name was Maybell, learned how to do this certain guitar riff that is very common in country music from a black man. Um, learned it, stole it, and, you know, his guitar riff was actually the, um, the foundation, but, you know. So, now that Beyonce's name is Carter, it's paying homage to that. I like stuff like that. Like, like, now I want to, like, people make fun of Beyonce for not seeming, you know, like the brightest light bulb in the box, or however the phrase is, but... And I could see why, because, you know, back when she would do interviews, you know, maybe she maybe she was nervous because I sound less than smart sometimes when I speak. And it's because I just got so much going in my brain and my mouth can't keep up. But she's really got some I like this cultural movement because it's really, I think, forcing us, well, some of us, <laughs> to look at the deeper meaning. Like, I like that that TikTok came up and I was able to, to learn that because I'm not quite sure if I would have learned that on my own. I've also seen other TikToks about, like, um, I mean, I know, of course, that country music was, you know, you know, started from us you know, way back in the day with the banjo and all that other stuff. That I knew, but I am very excited to learn a lot more. I'm excited to learn about, you know, some other country, black country music stars other than like Charlie Pride. And there was a woman who, who performed at Essence Fest. Oh my God, I can't remember her name. And I think, I believe she was a country artist. And then there was a, another woman who kind of looks like Beyonce who did this video where she was like, let me give you all the reasons why Beyonce should not be disrupting country. And it was that trend where you do your makeup or do whatever task, but you say nothing because the whole point is there is no reason. But a lot of people either didn't watch the full video or people just like to argue just to argue, but they were all up in her comments and she had to keep replying like, um, you guys, like, I love Beyonce. This is a trend, but like having, like, I'm just like, why people gotta be so dense? Anyway, let me go back in here because Melissa asking me, uh, what's country food? So, all right, that apple dessert that I was telling y'all about, I don't know why I thought it was baked. It's not baked. It's just basically you cut the apple into thick rings. You dust it in the peanut butter, the powdered peanut butter and enough water to uh, make a smooth, spreadable consistency. Um, spread the peanut butter over, drizzle with the almonds and drizzle with the chocolate syrup on top. It still sounds delicious, but I want my apple to be toasted a little bit. So I'm gonna try and do that now. And I'm using, ow, ah, damn, I hope that don't, that didn't uh, puncture the skin. I'm gonna use caramel instead because Chocolate syrup has milk in it, and I ain't feeling like looking for no dairy-free chocolate syrup or dairy-free dairy -free chocolate to melt and whatnot. So I was like, man, I'ma just use some caramel. All right, I realized that I do not know how to <laughs> cut the apples into the rings. I probably needed something to core the apple which I do not have, so I did the best that I could. And I'm gonna just stick this in the air fryer. I'm winging this, so I'm like, I, I probably should put some water on there. And maybe I'll sprinkle a little cinnamon too. Let it, let it cook in the air fryer for a little bit. So I give it a couple of minutes, I don't know. <laughs> I just want a tasty little dessert that's not gonna be a whole bunch of points, you know what I mean? How many points is this? Oh, it's one point. I guess the syrup and the, the syrup, the almonds and the peanut butter make up a point, but it depends on how much of the syrup, peanut butter and almonds I have. All right, so I'm gonna sprinkle this with a little water, sprinkle some cinnamon. Uh, I don't know, I'll do five minutes at first and then see how, how that does. All right, so after five minutes, I feel like it can toast a little bit more. I added the peanut butter powder and the almonds. I'm actually gonna let that toast a little bit, maybe another three minutes. 
and see how it goes. It smells good. Let's see how that goes. Alright. I don't know. I'm gonna take the smallest little piece. This should taste good, because it's not like, you know. But sometimes apples make my throat itchy. I don't know what it is. We'll see. No, that was nice. <laughs> I'll have another one. I think I'm gonna let it toast a little bit more. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna toast that. Let that toast a little bit more. And the tasty little dessert kind of thing. I think I'll put it in for five minutes, but I'll put it at 370 instead of 360. Whew, I went live on Instagram and unboxed some PR stuff and look at all, all of the boxes broken down and I'm about to go take that shit out. Yo, I am freaking starving. I just came from the doctor and I had a physical, so I couldn't eat breakfast. And they was taking fab up in there. Woo! I had to do something with my insurance, so insurance be a scam. But anyway, I went to the grocery store and I needed more jerk. So I got mild and hot and spicy Walker Woods. I forgot that Grace, because I don't think my supermarket really has a lot of Grace products, but I forgot that Grace also makes a jerk. And then I got a jerk marinade, because I was like, oh, that sounds interesting. So I will try this in my next batch of chicken um however probably next week's batch of, ch batch of chicken because i already seasoned some thighs last night with the regular jerk and then i wanted to see if i could find me a, a delicious what you call it fried chicken batter i figure sylvia's might know what she's talking about so we'll see i mean technically i could make my own fried chicken batter and i have before but you know i wanted to try that and i want to make some fried shrimp and they have a product called shrimp fry the grocery store didn't have it so between these to hopefully something tastes good so we got the season oh man i meant to get the cajun instead oh well i'm you would be so hungry you feel weak like i'm like huh. and um i was supposed to i gotta put the air conditioning on because it's a little warm i was supposed to have a zoom call a video interview with a scientist at png to talk about because i want to do a video on heat training natural hair because i see that as a growing trend and something that i have considered because Becoming a heat natural, basically somebody with natural hair who heat styles it and they're they're thereby loosening the curl pattern some with uh the heat training but her schedule is tight which actually works out well for me because i would have had to be running home for 12 because right now it's 11 26 running home to get on the zoom but now i could probably take i could eat take a little maybe hour hour and a half nap get dressed i need to refilm a video i hate having to refilm things but i wasn't feeling the that you could hear the the lens moving which i never hear the lens moving but that night i forgot to charge my be the the battery for the microphone so all the time i'm sitting here doing my hair and makeup i could have been charging the damn microphone and i forgot but i have a backup microphone which i hadn't used in a while so i think the settings on that were off causing the causing you to hear the lens change because you have never heard that before so i'm like you know what let me just refilm this video and i'll do that plus i was sitting down in the video and i was like i don't know i like my energy in videos better when I'm standing. So we gonna do that. And tonight we have two events that I really hope I make because I'm gonna make it. <laughs> and I'll take y'all with me. Sir, please come back inside. Thank you. Oh, I know you wanna go outside, but I don't want you to go outside. <laughs> All right, this is my outfit. <laughs> I'm not sure how I want to wear this shirt because the bra underneath is so freaking cute. But you know, I don't want it all out. You know what I'm saying? So maybe I just kind of do like a little, like a little peekaboo, but not too much. And I don't know why I keep getting weaves when I be struggling with the leave out and styling this mess be taking so long when I want to film. But anyway, I'm gonna put on my shoes and get up out this house. She is about to hook me up. I'm gonna put her in see here because you know I was trying. Um, but she she gonna fix me up. I am starving. Anyway, I'm waiting for 
part of the lift to get to the next event, which hopefully Gail is still there. clearly but while this pace thing oh sorry y'all know that's kind of gross <laughs> this pace thing is has kept my hair down i feel like it's made it revert but i need to go look in the mirror oh i hate this time of year <laughs> my allergies is coming in i feel like it made my hair revert but let me go check i wanted to film refilm this video i wanted to refilm it in between going to the doctor and the events but i took a nap i needed that nap and I, the nap was an extended nap but i kept hitting the snooze but now i'm a little i feel like i'm too tired to film the video but i think what i'm gonna do is if this thing made my hair revert i'm just gonna wash this leave out and then redo it in the morning I already text Yasmin a while back and was like, yeah, I ain't gonna make it tomorrow. <laughs> Cause I got, too, I got too much shit going on tomorrow. I, I would have had to go see Yasmin, go to therapy, run from therapy to get on. I don't even know if I'm gonna take the train cause apparently somebody was shooting on a train today. And then I keep hearing these news stories about how dangerous the train is becoming. And I've, I've been hearing them stories for like at, at least since things started to slowly come back after the pandemic. But you hear stories about crime all the time. And plus I grew up here in the eighties and the nineties. Like that was some subway crime. You know what I'm saying? So, so, but this uh, new story that I heard that I watched last week and then today with this gun thing, I'm like, I don't know, I didn't take the subway today. Thankfully, it was over for the event. I'm trying to decide if I want to drive into the city to see Dr. Michelle. Now the thing with driving into the city is whether it's going in or coming out, there's probably gonna be massive amounts of traffic. And I don't know if I wanna be doing all of that. You know what I'm saying? I need to really learn how to manage this leave out. But let me tell y'all, and I don't, I'm sorry if I've said this in the vlog already, <laughs> be repeating myself, but I want a relaxer and I want to get a dark red rinse, a cool red rinse where it's like, you know, you can see the red, but it's not like obnoxious because I don't want to, I prefer my hair to be its natural color, you know, just without the grays, but I usually don't color my hair. I usually just get like a weave or some clippings and something and get that colored and then, you know, that'd be the color. But a rinse is a deposit of color. It's not gonna, you know, do too much damage to the hair. Yeah, I feel like that, I feel like there's some reversion going on right up in here because that, that pace might have been water-based. And I'm not even um, blaming Sis because Sis had to work with whatever products that got to be had. You know what I'm saying? So, why are you running? That was, tonight was nice. Oh, let me show you guys what I got from DVF. I wanted to get one of the aprons, but they didn't have any more. So I'm going to, I think the collection uh, comes out on Sunday. It'll already have been out in Target by the time this vlog comes out. But um, I'm gonna try and get the apron because I thought the aprons were cute. But even also what's cute, because initially I didn't think I was gonna buy anything from this collection because I'm not into prints as much as I used to be. But I will say the home. First of all, how cute is this freaking bag? I don't know if they if you'll get this bag at Target Target. And if you do, it's probably just like maybe the, the launch day. But I bought these super cute bralettes. To be honest, this was very much an, an impulse buy. And then I'll tell you more about what I thought of the collection because I started that thought and didn't finish it like I typically do. But this is so cute. Now, what's crazy is I look, I'm hoping that this fits because this is a medium and I don't be really wearing a medium and nothing, but I am a 36C and bras. I don't know if you can see that, but it says if you are a 36C to get the medium and I'm a 36C, so <laughs> we shall see. And I also got this bralette. It's so cute. So let me tell you about the collection. Um, hopefully I got enough footage because there were so many people at the event that I have not seen in a long time. So I was doing a lot of, 
<laughs> like socializing. I like that. But the clothing, I wasn't really too into because like I said, I'm not into prints as much as I used to. I like more of a solid color. But the lifestyle stuff looked super cute. If my kitchen wasn't so, I don't wanna say plain. What is the word for my decor in here? There's a certain style aesthetic. Oh, this battery about to die, hold on. Yeah, so there's a certain style aesthetic that I guess you could use to fit the, the decor in here and I can't think of what it is. It's definitely not modern or mid-century modern or anything like that. Initially, I really loved the J Japandi style, which was a mix of Scandinavian and something with Japan, obviously, but. Uh, Anyway, that's not even important. So my color scheme in here is wood, which is typically a dark wood, which if you could see the actual table, it is not a mess. There's that. Then there's black matte, which a lot of things like this is black matte. My dishes are matte black. Like this candle warmer is matte black. My dishwasher thing is black, matte black. That That's my decor. Like my decor is very simple and whatever you want to call it, right? The DVF stuff was so cute. Like it was giving like sort of like, you know, you have company over during the spring and summer and you know, you have your particular uh, serving, uh, serverware for that kind of, for that season, except it doesn't match what I already have, so it didn't make sense for me to buy it. So like, I have serverware and stuff like that, but my serverware is very plain, but artistic, if that makes sense. So anyway, that stuff was cute. I wanted an apron. Let me see if I can find the apron to show y'all, but they were all out. I am willing to get up at whatever crack of dawn. Oh, that's all, okay. So the bralettes were $25 each and I spent $47.50 because I used my Target debit card. So I saved 5% and then, you know, there's no tax here in New York. The, the kid stuff was so, oh God, the kid stuff was so cute. I was so mad that I don't know any little kids. It drops March 23rd. Oh, this is going to drop Okay, this drops this the day before this this vlog drops. So this vlog is gonna drop March 24th and the collection is dropping March 23rd. So this dropped yesterday if you're watching this when it just started. All right, anyway, let me show you like this. This stuff is so cute. Like, you know, like you can admire something that's beautiful, but it's like, okay, it's not my style. You know what I mean? And I, I like to look at cute things like that. I don't necessarily need to own it. That's so cute. I do, you know what's funny? I have a DVF. I think there was a Target and DVF. Or remember when Neiman Marcus and Target collaborated and they had like that, like you can buy some stuff at Neiman Marcus and you can get some stuff at Target? Because I have a makeup bag that is this print and I forgot where I got it from, but now I just remembered. Like that is so cute. Oh my God, that is so cute. It's so cute, but it's not me. You know what I mean? So it made zero sense for me to buy any of that stuff. But if this is your look, I think you would love that. They also have, oh, they got beautiful beauty stuff too? Damn DVF, how much? I, I thought it was really nice that they have uh, bedding, uh, but again, you see my, my sheets are white. Although, oh, this lamp. Something like this could fit in. I don't know where it would fit in. I don't even need a lamp. <laughs> but maybe something like this might be able to fit in with my decor, but wow, DVF. And DVF herself was there. I didn't um go up to like talk to her or anything. Like I'm like made her mad cool. But I'm sure I could have, but eventually, but I probably would have had to like wait or whatever. But she looks really good. This is cute. This is what is this? Uh yoga mat. There's so much cute stuff in this collection. I didn't even see these this yoga mat at the collection um today. Mug set, like this is so cute but I don't need anything. I like being able to look at things and be like, oh my God, that is so cute. Like if this is your style and you did a haul and you uploaded a video on YouTube, I would watch your haul because I would want to see the joy <laughs> in in you opening up stuff that you really love. And I don't, and it, it's like, I don't need to buy it too in order to participate. They got shower curtains. I do want some new shower curtains, but that's not gonna go with my decor. That is so cute. Okay, so here's the, apron 16 bucks I want this I'm gonna save that it's a mixed print now the thing is I want to you can start up at 3 a.m. on March 3rd 23rd and I, that's I'm gonna be up at 3 a.m. March 23rd <laughs> 
<laughs> getting it. They got one for adults and then they have one for kids. So the adult one is $16. The kid one is $10. They've got candles. This is, they got a lumbar pillow, more, oh my God. Like this stuff is so cute. This is so cute. I would love to see somebody, like if you guys get anything and you have a YouTube channel or Instagram or so, or TikTok or some, somewhere where you post like stuff, or even if you don't and just, you know, type it in the comments what you got, if you got anything. But if you have some place where you can like post videos even better, cause I want to see, I want to see what people do with these things. Oh my God, this is so Look at that, a room divider. Oh, I love that. That's $500 though. Ooh. But then again, how much is a how much are room dividers? I don't know, I've never needed a room divider. She's got a lot of home stuff, but this is a big collection. It's as if DVF is freaking moving into Target. She might as well, she might as well um just have a Look at this stuff, how cute. Oh, excuse me. Wow, they got little placemats. DVF looked good. She she looked good. The hair was all, the hair was hairing. She was smiling. Well, I would be smiling too if I had this big ass collection at Target. I'd be smiling at all the dollars I'd be making. She got a beauty line. She got eye sheet masks, lip sheet masks. And these, the prices ain't bad. Let me turn this camera around so y'all can see what I'm looking at. Look, she got these eye sheet masks. Come on. The prices ain't bad either. That kind of mask. This is so goddamn cute. DVF for Target uh, and Sally Hansen press-ons. If this stuff was at the event, I ain't see it. <laughs> well, clearly. <laughs> they got a DVF for Target times Sally nail polish. That's cute, but I am, when I tell you I'm loyal, my friend Kalina has a nail polish line called Jessie Monroe Nail Care. Um, ever since she came out with that line, I don't be buying nobody else's nail polish. I won't even um, talk about, <laughs> other than just now, I won't even talk about nobody else's nail polish. The clothes, the clothes I feel like this has to be your, your personal style. They had some cute workout clothes, like this was cute. There was a one piece that I was like, oh, that's cute. But there were a pair of jogger pants with a flared uh, hem, but, and it had like a drawstring. So it was like, it cinched at the hem and it kind of flared out. I was like, oh my God, that is so cute. But I already knew, don't even play yourself because the length ain't gonna be, the length ain't gonna be hitting for nothing. Oh my God. <laughs> Yo, DVF. This is so cute. And you wanna know something? It feels good as a, as a reformed, oh, and it comes in gold too. Look at those gold lips. I might have to get that. How big is this? A coin pouch. I'm gonna save it. I like that, that gold coin pouch might need to be purchased <laughs> it feels so good to be someone who used to formally be a shopaholic oh my god i wanted every freaking thing uh but it took you know some years of getting <laughs> getting used to stuff like it feels good to be able to look at stuff that is so freaking cute and know that like just seeing it and knowing that somebody else is gonna enjoy it look they got garment bags See, I already got a garment bag with my um, at Style and Beauty Doc on it that a brand gave me. This this is so damn cute. But anyway, oh, I'm gonna try on my bralettes. Um, I'll let you let me. I'll let y'all know how if the bralette fit. Let me go try it on. I'll be right back. I don't know if y'all can hear that. The life of a content creator. So I was here just now filming the first parts of some videos. Now, not every video I need, I have to talk. You know, sometimes I could just do a product and add voiceover. But this one, I was actually talking. I swear to you, the second I was done and I went to go look at the footage on my computer because I have some footage that 
I had to redo because you can hear the lens. Something was wrong with the settings on the microphone. You could hear the lens adjusting. So I was like, let me check and make sure. So I check and make sure it was good. And I was like, all right, let me go do my makeup so I can film the rest of the stuff that I need to film. Yo, as soon as I got to the bathroom, I am hoping that he's gonna be done by the time I finish my hair and makeup to get ready to film the other parts because at one o'clock I need to talk to my I have an appointment with my therapist and then as soon as I'm done with her I need to get up and go on the train to see Dr. Michelle although I was like I don't know if I want to take the train because it was a shooting on the train yesterday but I found out that the shooting wasn't like a random shooting even though like all shootings are bad but this one was an altercation that wound up in a shooting which still is isn't great but i feel a little bit better that it wasn't like a random person just like shooting everybody but i knew they were going to be cleaning the carpet because they sent an email yesterday saying that they would do it yesterday and today but i could have sworn they did my floor yes well i don't know if they did my well anyway let me get dressed Whew, all right back home well i came home and i went back out Ooh, perfect timing because my potatoes are almost done but i went out and then realized i don't have enough um plantain to make plantain for these pancakes tomorrow which i'm very excited about got some fresh flowers from the grocery store and shoot i should have got more of these maduros earlier did i tell y'all they come in three different sizes hold on <laughs> typically i get the 40 ounce the 40 ounce of maduros um, and I was gonna get two of them because I feel like maybe I can finish out one box tomorrow cooking for everybody depending on how many them people does show up. But they only had one of the 40 ounce so I had to get a 24 ounce and then they also have an 11 ounce. So I used to get the 11 ounce and then I, I moved up. But since they're frozen, even though I live by myself and um, I cook for myself and whatnot. I usually get the 40 ounce because might as well. They don't expire for a while. Right, so let me stick this in the fridge here. I am starving. I had to stop in the store and get a um, vegan chocolate bar because <laughs> my blood sugar was down. And I don't have blood sugar issues, but I guess between I wound up not, I didn't get a chance to eat lunch because I was, I literally stopped filming a video, changed my pants, put on my coat, and threw in my bag and ran out the door to go to the doctor's appointment. And then they had to draw blood to do the PRP, which I'm gonna, like I mentioned before, I'll have the a separate video on my skincare channel about that. But it felt like, you know, like the cat was, sinking his little nails into my scalp. Okay, although it did feel like that, it didn't, it wasn't like bad. You know, it wasn't unbearable. And then when you, oh, I forgot to get potatoes. Damn it. <laughs> I stay in the freaking grocery store. Uh, in the grand scheme of things, if that's all I have to do to have my hair come back like it never left, then uh, I'll do that. Actually, I'm probably gonna take the PRP, I'm definitely taking the PRP clip out of this vlog because I want to, I had to wash my hands. Hi baby. I'm definitely taking the PRP clip out of the vlog because I want to keep that video on the other channel. In case you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So we are going to have some leftover jerk chicken thigh. Listen man, this is a, I'm gonna eat the same shit type of household. It makes life so easy for me. All right, um, let's do one minute, 30 seconds. And then we are having a little party, a little virtual party with my Instagram subscribers at 8.30. So I need to get the prizes for that ready, which in all honesty, I'm probably, I can't decide if I wanna keep this, the prizes a surprise, like, like mystery boxes. But in order to do that, I still need to know how many boxes I can make out of the products that I have. I wanna do at least three. Hopefully there's enough prizes in there, uh, PR boxes in there to do three. I went live on Instagram. Oh shit, damn it. <laughs> I'm pissed that I broke that because, oh wait, it still might work. Cause this has a drawstring. So you can make this, size work with whatever you got here we go and i get these from a trend big win damn i'm mad i broke this but i would probably just buy another one i get this from a trend big win uh, there we go company called crown and looks crown and lux you know crown like you know crown c r 
O-W-N and Lux, L-U-X-E. They are on Instagram and then, you know, you go to their website. Although they are based in Tobago, they do ship to the U.S. And um, I'm not sure where else, but you can go on their website and inquire. But I love their bonnets. So all, all the bonnets that you see me wearing are from them. It feels so good to have on regular inside clothes. <laughs> oh, man. And it's like hot cold. Cause it's like, it's not hot enough to not have a coat on, but the coat I had on earlier definitely was too much. So when I went out just now to the grocery, I put on my, sh my uh, lighter coat. And then for some reason, I feel like they turned, like the heat is on in the hallway in my building. So when I get to <laughs> my floor, I leave my apartment, I'm like being stifled. And I don't like that. There's a little bit of makeup on this shirt, but we friends, so we gonna, y'all be all right. <laughs> also I asked Dr. Henry about, I was like, yo, I wanna get a relax. I mean, obviously not right now, but she said once everything comes in and we don't, you know, not doing treatment and whoever does the permits can not irritate my scalp or mess up my scalp or whatever, that she's not against it because she has heard from, that this is a person who sees people who, oh, who are dealing with hair loss and she treats them. And she has seen where people who have natural hair experience more breakage with being natural than with a relaxer. Now, obviously, that's not to say that being natural is gonna break your hair. That's not what I'm saying. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Before y'all go spreading rumors, talking about I say something I ain't say. But she says she has seen that. So she's not completely against people having relaxers. And that might have to be me. I don't want a fool. I don't even know if there's such a thing as a mild relaxer <laughs> or a texturizer or something. I don't, I don't even know what the heck is out there in 2024, but honey, she about to do something different. I need, I need hair that I can just, especially when I'm filming, I want to be able to look, be able to put together a hairstyle like this easily and quickly. And I was relying on them ponytails for too much, too long. And look what it did to me. Yo, let me tell y'all something. Stuff escalates really quickly because, first of all, I didn't realize I was out of bamboo, which I always have some in my cabinet. But although my niece said she was bringing uh, stuff to make mimosas, I realized that I have no Prosecco and nothing like that in the cabinet. And I was like, since I'm going to the liquor store, let me go get it. And then I got these things because they are non-dairy and I wanted to try it. I think this is, uh, Cardi B has some sort of affiliation with this. I'm not sure. But how this came up to $119? Sheesh. I will try to show y'all as much as I can of the cooking, um, but I'm, I'm gonna just keep it real. Like my attention span be, especially when my family get here. So when I'm by myself, you know, I'm good. I can show y'all stuff and whatnot. But you know, with family, I'm attention span, you know, love you. Delicious, so moist and crispy, mm -hmm. and that sauce, oh my god. Mmm, so delicious. I'm gonna remind me to tell y'all about, well, I'll tell you now because I'm gonna forget. Sriracha, honey, and relish. It's so good.
I just submitted my final assignment for this toxicology class. I didn't even realize that this week was the last week, so. But the new term starts April 22nd, so I ain't got that much of a break. Um, and I definitely, well not that I definitely, but it would be smart for me to continue um, to the next term and just knock this thing out so I can just be done. And speaking of done, this vlog is done. I will see y'all next time. And watch out because I might do a live. I'm not sure when or if we're gonna cook something and if we cook something, what we gonna cook, but I'm gonna figure it out because I, I should be able to have more focus now that I'm not in class for a little bit. So anyway, bye, love y'all.